Welcome back to Just Another Melting Channel, y'all. It's been a while, and for that, I apologize. To the 61 subscribers who stayed with me over the last year that I was gone, whether because you were waiting faithfully for me to continue making videos, or you were just too lazy to find my channel and click unsubscribe, thanks for still being here. I see I've got a few new subscribers as well. Welcome to the channel. I hope you find something you like while you're here. This is something of a prologue to the upcoming Season 2 of my channel. In essence, this is where I tell you what you can expect on this channel moving forward. And I say Season 2 because I consider Season 1 to be the first 20 videos that I posted. The Road to Devil Forge and finally using the Devil Forge Furnace. Before I do that, I want to be a little serious for a minute and talk to you about the past year that I've taken off. I am going to be discussing mental health. So if you have no interest in that topic, feel free to skip to the timestamp on screen where I actually discuss the plans for this channel. Or if you'd like, you can mute the audio and just watch the video, which is a casting I did on Twitch in April, my first time melting and casting since last year, which you can tell by the end product. All right, let's get started. After we finished remodeling our kitchen last year, I fell into a deep depression due to a variety of things going on between work and personal life, and even my own ambitious plans for melting and casting and making videos. And all of it really built up until I just became overwhelmed and shut down. Now, I will fully admit, I've struggled with my mental health over the last 20 years since coming home from Afghanistan, but this was different. I found that I'd lost my motivation for anything and everything. Music, melting, even gaming. I'd come out to my garage and I'd just sit here and stare at the walls, unable to find any reason to fire up the furnace. Or I'd boot up one of my game consoles and then stare at the menu screen for a couple hours. It's like I was just existing, an NPC waiting for an adventurer to interact with me. The only reason I got out of bed and even went to work was for my wife and my dogs. In the past when I'd find myself struggling with depression, I'd get really angry at everything, like really angry, and use that anger to just power through the day or the weeks or the months. Something of a dark side of the force ideology. But even that wasn't working, and I withdrew more from everything. My wife and I got the Rona just after Thanksgiving, and that knocked us out for a week. That didn't help. And then as beautiful and as cold as the winter season was, it made the process of trying to get through that fog of depression a little bit more difficult. After my grandpa passed away near the end of the year, I made the decision to stop doing everything that wasn't a direct contributor to helping my mental state heal. And eventually, I started gaming again, playing Modern Warfare 2 with friends from work, going through the Arkham games. All of this, to me, was a sign that maybe I was through the worst. Now, over the last month, I've felt everything starting to kind of creep back. I've been working out three times a week. I've been taking time to really work through my anxiety. And I've also been examining what I wanted to do with this channel and casting in general. The biggest step that helped me get back into this is that I started streaming on Twitch and learning about streaming culture. And that's when I had an epiphany. You see, when I started this channel, I started it specifically so I could document my experiences learning about metal casting, and I was having a lot of fun doing it. I was genuinely excited for my days off to come so that I could get into the garage, set everything up, film a video, and melt and cast. But one of the contributing factors to my depression is that I forgot that I started making videos not for views, not to be a content creator or an influencer or whatever this short attention span calls it these days but because I just wanted to document what I was experiencing and learning while having fun with it. Somewhere along the road, I became a guy who was more worried about, why am I not getting any views or comments? Instead of, what can I learn while I'm doing this, and how can I film the fun I'm having with it so I can watch it later? I became overwhelmed seeing videos from and comparing myself to other channels, and thinking to myself, Oh, I have an idea, but this channel, they already did it, so I shouldn't bother. I basically psyched myself out until I couldn't even fathom being any kind of video maker or creator. I don't know, it was a very dark and heavy tunnel 
to tread through with everything else that was already weighing me down. But see, that's the thing. There's always a light at the end of a dark tunnel. And in my case, at least as far as casting content goes, there were several YouTubers who were holding that light for me, whether directly or indirectly. And I want to take this time to just give them a quick shout out. Kraken Casting, Scrap to Cast, Heinrichs Made, Freeman Metalworks, SJW Casting, and Melting Ipswich. You guys consistently put out videos that I could watch, and more importantly, you put them out in your own style, which kept that spark of motivation going for me over the last year. Your consistency in making your own content and just being yourselves, reading the conversations on Kraken's Discord, watching Freeman's evolution and his journey of casting, Ipswich's wall of copper. You all contributed so many things that were just enough of a line for me to hold on to. So I give you my most sincere thanks, even if you don't see this. If you aren't subscribed to their channels, I highly recommend you check them out. Each of them makes different kinds of content in the metal casting video genre, from ingot stacking, scrapping and casting, lost foam casting, coin casting, and sand casting. It's a wonderful balance between the kinds of melting and casting videos that are available on YouTube. I'll put their channels in the description below, so please go check them out. Give them a subscribe, comment on their videos, and tell them that I sent you. Mental health is a very serious issue. As a veteran, no, more importantly, as someone who's just dealing with the human experience, I know it firsthand, and I'm sure many of you know it too. And if you find yourself struggling with depression or with your mental health, seek help, reach out, take the time to get yourself right, and do what you have to do to make it to tomorrow. I'm going to put my favorite mental health awareness video from my favorite channel, Viva La Dirt League, at the end of this video. It was a really great help to me, and maybe it will help you too. They've got resources linked in their description, so if you need help, you can seek it. All right, so with the serious stuff out of the way, let's talk about just another melting channel and my goals here moving forward. The first thing is quality over quantity. Look, I'm not going to be able to put a video out every week because of the time to film, edit, narrate, and all of that. But it will always be a video of what I consider to be quality. Either something that I can learn a lesson from and be proud of, or something entertaining that I can laugh at. Most of the time, I'm just hoping it'll be something that I don't cringe watching, like I do when I see my Season 1 videos. Now, I film everything and I edit everything on my phone. So if you're looking for someone with high-tech equipment and expensive cameras and fancy transitions and title screens with super-duper ultra 4K resolution and 3D, with honors, you came to the wrong channel. My videos may also run a little bit longer compared to other channels with similar content. Sorry, Scrap to Cast, Heinrichs, you guys can make fun of me on Discord later for that. But again, if that's not your cup of tea, go get a milkshake down the road. I am literally just another melting channel, among an ocean of melting and casting content. I'd rather document everything the way I want to, as opposed to trying to imitate others or cramming much-needed information in smaller videos. In short, I'm just going to be honest to who I am and make the videos that I want to watch. And speaking of honesty, that's the next thing you can expect. Honesty in what I'm thinking and doing. Look, there's a lot of information on YouTube, Reddit, and Facebook groups regarding metal melting and casting that perpetuate practices ranging from misinformed to outright dangerous. And when I started, I was emulating and copying a lot of those videos and practices because I just didn't know any better, or I had to take shortcuts because of my budget, or I hadn't bothered to fully research certain aspects because if it worked for them, then it should be okay and it'll work for me. Moving forward. I'm going to talk about what I'm doing on the video. I'll make sure to explain little things that I'm thinking or tricks that I've found or experienced or reasons behind why I'm taking a shortcut on something. I won't claim to know everything or be an expert because I know that just because something works for me doesn't mean it's the proper way to do it. And I will absolutely be wrong about a lot of things as I experiment and try to learn and relearn what I know. But I'll be honest about it. And I will at least differentiate shortcuts in what I'm doing in my little fob foundry to what should be done 
based on research from casting literature, Facebook groups, Discord channels, Reddit, or even other videos. So this way, any melting FNG who happens to find my videos can be pointed in the direction of people more knowledgeable and experienced than myself if they want to do more research. On the off chance that any of the purists from the Facebook group, Backyard Metal Casting and Foundry Work, find my videos, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to tell me that I suck or how I can improve. Truthfully, I spend a lot of time reading and searching from the files in that group anyways. As a side note, I'm understanding why some of those guys come across as being so grumpy if I'm being honest. Because the amount of people who jump into that group or into this activity without doing the most basic research or the people who advocate dangerous things that can really hurt you boggles my friggin' mind. The third thing is ads. I'm not a fan of ads on my videos. I don't do the ad thing. I'm not monetized and I don't plan on it unless I either break like 10,000 subscribers or I end up with a super viral video that gets pushed by the algorithm that's getting big stack numbers. And I can see myself making money with what I'm doing. So any ads you see pop up on my videos are due to either the music I was making with GarageBand loop tracks on my iPad in season one, which I stopped doing and I'm currently experimenting with making my own music or I'm going to use the royalty free stuff. Or it's due to YouTube forcing ads on consoles and smart TVs, even on non-monetized channels like mine, just to try to get viewers to subscribe to their paid service. Yeah, YouTube, we know you do it. Smeg off. Thirdly, I will continue to give credit where it's due. I'll always say where applicable, who I got an idea from, or where I learned about something I'm trying in the video, with links or screenshots of their related content. In fact, I've always done this. Go back to the very first video I ever posted. The end card is a link to the video that showed me how to use charcoal chimney and a hair dryer and a steel camping cup to melt metal. I'm not a fan of idea or content theft, but there's a lot of people who tell me that this has become the norm in today's society, particularly online. That's a load of badly digested curry in a porta john on a hot summer day with no breeze and a lack of toilet paper, if you ask me. You can jog on with that nonsense. Maybe I'm being grouchy about this, but I've lived my entire life trying to help and teach and lift up people around me as we go through similar things, even when they decide to drop a steaming combat duke on me before they throw me under the bus, because that's just the right thing to do. I challenge anyone who hears this or sees this to do the same, instead of trying to blatantly rip people off in the hope to get more views or online clout. So with the rant over, my next video is going to be a jam season one recap of all the mistakes I made where I didn't know any better for those 20 videos. All the bumps, wrong turns, and road construction I dealt with while on the road to Devil Forge. I'd also like to suggest that if you're serious about learning everything you can, go check out this video from Lundgren Braun Studios. And this video from Old Foundryman. I'll be referencing them a lot in the next video and maybe even giving disagreeing opinions with them on some of the things they talk about. Finally, as I said before, I do also stream on Twitch in the makers and crafts category. My current goal as of this video is to stream every Sunday, usually in the morning or early noon hours before it gets too hot to be in my garage. Streaming is a whole different kind of beast. Part of my motivation to get out of the mental rut I was in comes from forcing myself to learn about streaming culture and how it works and all the differences between YouTube culture and live streaming culture. I haven't seen any other metal casters there in the short time that I've been actively participating, but between knife makers, people doing forging, glass blowing, pottery makers, and even chefs making cakes, it's been an eye opener in terms of the subculture of Twitch versus YouTube. If you're interested in seeing what it's like, feel free to follow me there as well. I'll put a link to my channel in the description. And as a note for my friends who are still kind of afraid of Twitch, you don't need to donate or pay anything to watch. It's free. Just come hang out. Come and chat with me while I'm streaming. Make fun of me. Talk a little smack. Throw up some inside jokes. Ask questions. Or even just lurk and see if I fail at what I'm doing. I do try to keep it family friendly, so I'm not going to be swearing on stream. And again, it's free. The only thing I can't control is the ads. They're ridiculous, 
And at least as of this video posting, there's a whole bunch of drama and crying about the latest update to the terms of service because of ads. That doesn't really affect me because I'm not really anybody there. Now that I think about it, I'm, I'm not really anybody here either. So at least I'm consistent. If you made it all the way to the end, congrats and thanks. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't want to miss a video, especially since I will not be posting on a regular schedule, hit the bell. But don't feel like you have to. I hope wherever this finds you, that you're happy. Be a good human. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video.